Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I was asked recently by Wired to fish for my top 10 favorite crappie lakes. Let's get into that now. Uh -huh. Wired to Fish, if you guys don't know, is a giant fishing publication. Um, if you're not following those guys on all their social media platforms, you should be. Pretty good information these guys are spitting out. I think they're, per they're probably posting two or three times a day on tips and techniques. If you're a beginner in fishing, man, Wired to Fish, no matter what species, they do all kinds of species. Whether it's bass, crappie, walleye, cat, it don't matter. Them guys got experts. Um, giving them information and doing articles with those guys non-stop great guys over there at wired to fish go give them a follow if you haven't then most of you folks on here don't even know who the heck i am we'll get into that later but let's get into my top 10 favorite crappie lakes in the united states and i want to start hold on start by saying i have never fished west i've never been to arizona i've never been to California, Clear Lake, and Roosevelt, and all the, I have never been there, so I can't judge, I can't put lakes on my list that I've never been to. So, crappie tournaments, for 30 years that I fished them, were in the east, southeast, and central part, you know, mostly in the central part of the United States where I live here in Missouri. So, sorry California, I know Clear Lake and those lakes are amazing. You're not gonna find any crappie tournaments there because they don't have any. They don't have any national crappie tournaments. I may have small ones, but I don't know anything about them, so I can't. I can't list them or rank them. Number ten on my list: Truman Lake, Missouri. Happens to be my home lake. Happens to be 45 minutes from my house. Happens to be where I learned how to crappie fish. That's not why it's on the list. So you think of it as my home lake and my and close to my house and I fished there more than any other lake, it would be number one. But it's not my number one, because it's in Missouri. It doesn't have three pound crappie in it. A lot of three pound crappie. I've never caught a three pounder out of there in my life. I've won over, I don't know, 20 crappie tournaments at Truman Lake, never caught a three pounder. Here's the reason Truman Lake is in my top 10. Let me give you the why. Truman Lake is one of the best summertime crappie lakes in the world. A lot of places in the country, you cannot catch crappie in the summertime. They disappear, they vanish, they go so deep, you catch them, you give them the bend. That is not Truman Lake. Truman Lake is fed by all these finger lakes. Uh, Truman Lake was built for flood control, and it does just that. The lake fluctuates like crazy. Um, here we are in August, and the lake is still 10 feet high because it's blocking the water from flooding Lake of the Ozarks, making it all this water flow um, from all this farmland from Kansas and Missouri makes it a dirty dingy lake. I love dirty dingy lakes. Dirty dingy water creates, creates and produces giant crappie and also has constant current, a lot of forage. Um, it's a good lake to go catch crappie. It has a lot of crappie in it. So there's days in the winter, there's days in the summer, spring. It, there's not a bad time to go fish Truman Lake. There just isn't. There, when it's extremely flooded, it just floods. Probably not good because those fish have not reacted to it or, or adjusted to it, rather. Reacted. Adjusted. Adjusted to that high water. Gee whiz. Yeah, Truman Lake, top 10. If you want to catch crappie, you can catch a lot of crappie at Truman Lake. And they also have a lot of good fish there. Um, been several crappie tournaments, seven fish over 14 pounds. With live scope, of course. Before that, it was 11 pounds was the biggest you'd ever catch. Biggest weight on Truman Lake, non live scope, 11 three quarter pounds. Yeah, live scope comes out, it switches to 14 pounds. Unbelievable. Truman Lake is my number 10. Number nine. I don't have a trophy or plaque from it. I have won a crappie tournament there, but it was so long ago. I don't even think I could find, I think I could find the results. I think it was 2004, 2003, I actually won a crappie tournament. El Dorado, Kansas. Ah, lake in Kansas made my top 10. Absolutely. Giant crappie in this lake. Always has been, always will be. Um, yes, Kansas. If you're not from the area, you've probably never heard of it. That's fine. Uh, it's one of the most kept quiet lakes on my top 10. Probably the most kept quiet lake. El Dorado, outside of Wichita, Kansas full of giant crappie. A lot of people can get mad I put that one on here, the local people. Sorry, 
My number eight lake in my top 10. Can you read that? Dardanelle, Arkansas, number eight. When I think of Dardanelle, Arkansas, I think of giant, large, fat crappie. From Illinois Bayou to Piney Bay to Shoal Bay, they all produce giant, fat, two pound crappie. They are so large, it is like you're afraid to touch them, you think they're gonna pop, right? Like they have a tennis ball down their belly. Now, Darnell's had some ups and downs in the years. Um, it'll come back. It's one of the best crappie lakes uh, in the country, in my opinion. The lake is full of better than average crappie. I can say that. Um, tournaments over the year have proven that as well. Number seven, I know I got a trophy. I know, I've won four tournaments on this lake. I gotta find a trophy. I thought I had a big trophy from it. Let me find a plaque. Eufaula, Oklahoma. Well-known crappie lake. 2008. I wonder why my knees are bad. Eufaula, Oklahoma. Not Eufaula, Alabama. Eufaula, Oklahoma. From one end to the other, this lake is full of crappie. The numbers, the numbers, the numbers. It's not a lake you're gonna go to to catch a fish of a lifetime, but if you want to catch some crappie, you go to that lake and you will flat fill the freezer up. Always been like that. Uh, famous guy down there, Todd Huckabee, you go see him. He will, he will help you load the freezer. Number six on my list of top 10 Best crop in the United States, St. John's River, Florida. St. John's has some of the most amazing scenery you'll see anywhere crappie fishing. You'll run into manatees, alligators. It looks like you are in Jurassic Park when you're at St. John's River. It is cool. The crappie are so beautiful. Uh, a lot of people don't understand. Canada and Florida only have black species crappie. They don't have white crappie. Um, what we're used to catching here in Texas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. The most beautiful black crappie you will ever see in your life. Never seen a black crappie. It looks like those giant footballs in Florida and they eat the littlest, bittiest little moon jigs. If you've ever been to St. John's, they hit moon, little bitty stuff. St. John's River, number six. Five. I got a plaque back here somewhere. Another lake where they're full from one end to the other. That's not necessarily the case with some of the lakes at the top of the list here, but Lake Darbo, if it's not flood, you go up in the river and catch them. You can catch them out, right out in the middle. You can catch them wherever you want. Not only that's a very cool place to go visit. Stop by and see the Honey Hole folks. Um, the food is amazing. The people are amazing. The nicest people you'll ever meet on any crappie destination you go to, in my opinion. Lake Darbo. From long line trawling to fast trawling to slow trawling to vertical jigging to casting. I've seen tournaments won on everything you can't and it's full of great crappie. There's times they're 30 foot deep on the bottom. There's times they're two foot below the surface. It's amazing crappie lake and it is a cool place to go visit. Lake Darbone um, down there around West Monroe, Louisiana, number five. Number four which is gonna shock, this is gonna shock a lot of people. Number four, Grenada, Grenada, Mississippi. Not much I could say that hasn't already been said about Grenada. The largest crappie of my life came out of Grenada at uh, 3.76 pounds. It's a magical place for sure, there's no doubt about it. The reason it's not higher on my list is because of the weather conditions that can be at Grenada. They can be, they can be Flat, scary. That wind blows a Grenada, you're not fishing, period. It is out of control when that wind blows. But let me tell you another thing about Grenada. I took a top 10 and a classic at Grenada, Mississippi, two-day tournament. It was a 10 fish back then, not seven fish. That's how old I've been. I never caught 10 fish either day. What's that? 205 boats in the tournament. I got a top 10 finish without catching 20 crappie. That's why Grenada is not higher on the list. It can be brutal. It can be really tough, but it is the most amazing place. If you want to catch a three pound legitimate crappie, now there's no better place than Grenada, Mississippi. 
um, if you can stand the wind. Go down there and see my buddy Carlos, um, one of the best guides on the lake there. Go see him if you want a, a trip of life. To you. Three pound crappie, you go to Grenada. There's no doubt. But that wind and that tough, tough bite, it's not good. But if you want to go down there, go down there in March. If you got two weeks to stay in March, Carlos and the boys down there at Grenada can put you on a three pound crappie. You won't be disappointed if you go to Grenada for multiple days. You got to pick a good weather day. That's why it's not higher on the list. I turned around, this one was right on the wall. Number three, number three. Lake of the Pines, Texas, number three. Third on my top 10 best crappie lakes. This is an actual tournament that my wife and I won together. It was a really fun day. Um, to win a tournament with my wife was pretty cool. We fished three together and we've won one of the three at Lake of the Pines. I spend more time on Lake of the Pines nowadays than I do my home lake. Um, come fall and winter time, there is, it is the best fall time, October, November, December, January. It's the best winter time crappie lake in the world. Now, the problem is it floods really bad in the spring and summer and those fish are hard to find. That's why it's not higher on the list. That's, not, that's the only reason it's not number one. But I have had so many days down there. Um, a lot of videos on here were shot at Lake of the Pines in the winter and fall. They smack, I'm talking about hitting it harder than I've ever had a crappie hit in my life. There's two lakes that they do that on and both of them are in my top three. Lake of the Pines is one of them. Um, during those winter months, where a lot of the countries froze up, drive to Lake of the Pines. Go to Lake of the Pines, you owe it to it. You owe it to yourself. It is absolutely amazing. You gotta get out there deep, and I'm gonna be up shallow. They live deep at Lake of the Pines, and you got there deep, get you a spinning rod. There are a million videos on here doing it. But like I said, spring and summer, it gets a little, gets a little E. The wind can also get you, but it is an amazing when the rest of the country is froze up like the pine shells out like the pines texas number three it's the next day i'm in my office 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 i can't find number two video this is why young kids do youtube and old men like me should stick to fishing and construction i can't find number two number two Millwood, Arkansas. One of the coolest places on planet Earth. Not as well known as the rest of the lakes on the list, um, but it's in that triangle of East Texas. It's right there in Texarkana, Texas. Amazing giant crappie. You got everything you want if you're a crappie fisherman. You can go up the river and get an oxbows. You can go on the main lake and fish um, main lake stumps. Something really cool about Millwood is that the crappie will spawn right in the middle of the lake. You can be 500 um, yards off of the shoreline and crappie will be spawning right in the hard part of a cypress stump or a hedge tree, boat art tree, any kind of timber. They'll spawn out in the middle of the lake. Kind of neat, it's got the boat lanes, gotta be careful. Timber everywhere, alligators. Um, up the river you got some clear water and oxbows. Tournaments can get one anywhere on the lake at any time. Millwood, Arkansas, man. It's a special place. It's a cool place. You're over landing there. March. March. Millwood, Arkansas is my number two. I don't know what I did with the video. How in the world does it not download the rest of the video? All right, this brings us to number one. Da -da 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 -da. My number one crappie lake. I first went to this crappie lake, and I know because of this plaque right here, I didn't go to this lake until 2016. And it's the first tree this is pre life scope guys we used to jig the, the visible timber that's what we did for a living that's how we made our claim to fame the first tree we pulled up on my dad caught a 180 and i'm like "Ooh, boy this is gonna be fun right we had seven crab that weighed 16 pounds in practice i'm like "Ooh, my goodness my number one my number one crappie lake in the country world famous Lake Fork. There is no other lake in the world like Lake Fork to me. It is simply, simply amazing.
pines. There's something about East Texas there. Those crappie hit it harder than anything I've ever seen in my life. I have a theory about that, right? What's Lake Fork known for? Giant, giant bass. I've actually caught a nine and a half pound bass at Lake Fork while I was crappie fishing. My theory is those Texas bass are so mean, they're trying to eat them two and a half pound crappie and it makes them crappie meaner and all get out. There's no scientific proven evidence to that. I've been all over this country crappie fishing for 30 years. They hit it harder at Lake Fork than any lake I've ever been to in my life, period, hands down. They smash it. I'm talking about hammering it. Hands down, from February through May, there's no other place I'd rather be in my in the world than Lake Fork. It uh, It's still impressive the rest of the year, but those times there, you go there February through May, my goodness, it is fun. It's me, when I pull up to Lake Fork, there's this nostalgia, there's this there's this vibe that you're at you're Lake Fork. It's the coolest place ever, from the mental bucket to in town there. Um, it's just cool. I mean, it's cool. It's Texas. Texas is cool. There's dudes wearing spurs in the Mexican restaurant in town. That's pretty cool. It's awesome. Lake Fork. I just, I don't know what else to say. It's number one. If you haven't been, you need to go. Um, them, them big bass make them crappie tough and mean, and I love tough and mean crappie. That's my number one, Lake Fork. Woo, had to come inside. GoPro's getting ready to melt. It is hot. It's August. I'm sweating. It's hot. I had to get some of this air conditioning. That's my list, guys. A lot of you guys are going to say, what about this lake? What about that lake? I'm telling you, that's those are my that's my top 10. It's America. You can have your own opinion. That's great. That's what's so awesome about this. And there's some lakes I've never been to. I've never been to Santee Cooper. I know that it has giant, giant crop in it. Never been to it. Can't put it on my list. These are lakes that I've been to. There's a lot of plaques on that wall that I've done a lot better at and won a lot of money at. Um, Mark Twain's one of them in Missouri. I've won a lot of money at Mark Twain. I've been the top five there 10 times. It's not gonna make my list. I took second place at Rathman Island. I'm not gonna make my list because they're not good grappy lakes. My opinion, that's my opinion. Let me know down below in the description. Tell me what your favorite crappie lake is. And guys, I'm, when, for me, you gotta understand what I'm looking for. I'm looking for better than average size crappie. That's what I like doing. I like catching big giant crappie. I like things that go thump in the night and them little bitty 10 inch paper thin crappie don't do it for me. Um, so that's why there's some lakes on there that are, have a lot of numbers, but then the megas, the top three, man. And here's what's weird about the top three. You get on a map, draw a triangle. They're not that far away from each other. There's something going down there in that water down there in East Texas. I mean, Millwood's barely in Arkansas if you go look at a map. There's something going on down there. That's the coolest place on planet Earth to me. So, uh, that's it. I used to say Weiss Lake in, in Alabama was in the top 10. Kentucky Lake, no way is that sucker in the top 10. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Kentucky Barkley is not a top 10 crappie lake, not anymore. It's huge and a lot of people fish there. That's it. Crappie fishing kind of sucks there. Sorry, uh, Tony Shepard and the Jinko guys that happen to live on. Kentucky Barkley, there were years where it was amazing. Now, the times I've been, eh, you catch eight and a half pounds a day, you're kicking butt. That's not a good crappie lake, guys. There's lakes all over this. There's lakes in Kansas where you can catch 14, 15 pounds easily. How's, how's Kentucky Barkley better than them? That's my opinion. And this is America. You can have your opinion. So I'd love, I can't wait to, to put this out and get everyone's opinion. That's my top 10. And I've been to all these lakes um, several times. Probably more than, probably been to all of them except for St. John's more than five times in my life. So there it is. Um, why are two fish? You know, why did they ask me um, to do it? I don't know. I'm one of the one of the uh, 10 crappie pros they asked. They reached out to and asked. And I'll try to link that article here so you can see what other people thought. Other amazing um, legends in the sport of crappie fishing. Ronnie Cap, Steve Coleman, um, people like that. I'm sure they asked Wally Marshall. Um, I can't remember who else they asked. Little Matthew Rogers, I think. Um I have to get the article and link. They asked a lot of good guys. Todd Huckabee, I'm sure. Um, not sure who all they asked. 
Um, I asked some guys that know their stuff, right? Nobody knows crappie fishing like Ronnie Cap. So his opinion, I'm sure he's going to put real foot in there. That's where he lives. Um, real foot a long time ago was a really amazing crappie. Like it looks like it's coming back. I put legs that I would go right now today and go fish them, right? If you told me to go fish, I'd send you to these 10 lakes before I'd ever send you to Kentucky Barkley or Weiss Lake or Neely Henry or Real Foot. You're going to have a better time at these lakes, in my opinion. So there you have it. Thank you, guys. Um, if you haven't, man, please like that button down there, that ding, ding, like it, subscribe. We'll do a lot of crappie stuff. Um, we got two bass tournaments left. We'll record those, and it's going to be all crappie. Um, thanks for watching.